And welcome yes. back to the green room with me, Steve. And me, Steve. And that was this week's classic selection from South Pacific. I'm going to walk. Ugh, hang Ooh. on, there's somebody at the door. Hang on, guys. We're uh, we're, we're just door. in the middle of a piece at the moment. Yes. Are you, are you all right to grab that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That, Mr. Yeah, T yeah. is oh. going to do the honours with the door. And uh, Oh, we got some guests. We got some guests. In. Good afternoon. So, who have we got with us today? Yes. Uh, we better go ladies first. <laughs> I'm Chris. Hi, you, Chris. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Jolly Hi, good. Chris. And Chris, who have you brought in with you today? I've brought Ian with me today. Good afternoon, Ian. Hi, Ian. Good afternoon. And guys, where where are you guys from? As if I didn't know. But you know, our, our, our listeners out there haven't got a clue who you are at the moment. <laughs> we are with the group Studio Sixty One. St- which meets in Wolverhampton. Yes, yes, indeed. Now, you guys have been around for a while, haven't you? 1961, I believe. Hence, hence <laughs> Studio ah, 61 being created. So. I wondered where the name had come from. And, and coincidentally, it's our 61st anniversary this year too. Excellent. Well, happy ver- oh, yeah. happy anniversary for it later this year. So look look how that worked, Mr T. I know, I've had that. I know. So it, yeah. when we when we heard there was a Studio 61 coming in, what, what did you say, first of all, Mr T? You, I thought you were it was area. a place in, in Nevada desert where all the aliens <laughs> come from. I said, is it Area 51 are coming in? Excellent. See, this is what I have that to put up exist, with. It doesn't exist, by the way. Are you sure it doesn't exist? <laughs> I'm sure, yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, so the, the lovely folks from, uh, from Studio 61. Now, yeah. I'm pretty sure you've got something rather important coming up very, very soon. So who's who's going to go first? Who wants to talk about what's happening? Is it is it Chris? Yeah, go on. Go on, Chris. <laughs> the, you 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 are well and truly in the hot seat. So uh, what uh, what what's the the next production coming up with Studio Sixty One? In two weeks' time, we are opening at the New Hampton Arts Centre doing Educating Rita. Fabulous. Now that's the Willie Russell classic. It is, yes. And I'm just trying to think. Was that was written before Blood Brothers or after Blood Brothers? Oh, it was written around about 1980. Okay. So I don't know when Blood Brothers was written yeah, in I, relation to that. Yeah, I think this came first, if uh, if memory serves me right. But uh, something for me to check out a little bit later, I dare yeah. say. So, uh, educating Rita. Now I'm guessing, with, without being rude, uh, you're not playing Rita. No, I'm directing. <laughs> You're directing. Excellent yes. stuff. Um, yes, I, I'm not really being that rude, but um, but you, you're not in your 20s, there's, are you? There, there's not quite the age difference between me and Ian that there is no. between Ian and the, the, the actress who's playing Rita. Fabulous <laughs> stuff. So, uh, you're directing? I am. And when did production start? Uh, oh, about three months ago, four months ago. Yeah, it was like about that. three months ago. Yes, because it, it is just a two-hander. It is. So yes. there's, that's quite a bit of responsibility for the actors. I, it's, it, you have to keep your memory about you. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. Which uh, I, that, That's one thing that uh, over, over the years, see, I struggle a little bit. I have to put, I say struggle. Struggle is probably the wrong word. I have to put more <laughs> more work in than I used to. Struggle is the uh, right word. <laughs> struggle is <laughs> definitely the word struggle's for all definitely. of us, I think. Yes. My, uh, my, my cast over of, uh, at Albury Rep for Ladies' Day, see, uh, they used to go, oh, but we, we haven't got time to do such and such. And I go, guys, we've all got 24 hours in a day. <laughs> it's how we choose to use those. I said, yeah. I know what I'm like. Certainly, morning coffee comes and the script <laughs> comes out, and I'm going, Yes, I know. I don't want to spend the next hour and a half reading this, but I've got to because my mind is not as well as it used to be. <laughs> Self-discipline is <laughs> Well, that's right. exactly yep. Yep. brilliant stuff. So, Ian, how many hours per day are you putting in? 23 hours, is that correct? <laughs> uh, tw- no, well, 25 at the oh, moment. Wow, OK, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yeah, I like you, I find it harder to learn them as I did when I was 20. Yes, yes, indeed. You, you soak it in when you're 20, don't you? You have to work a lot harder yeah. when you're... Mm, over 60. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking good on it, if that's the case. And, uh, of course, you, you're playing the professor. I am, Frank. Uh, he's the rather disillusioned academic um, with uh, a bit too much pleasure uh, in the bottle. Yes, he's got a bit of a, a, bit of a tendency for <laughs> alcohol, hasn't he, if I, if I remember rightly? I'm, but, a, uh, I'm afraid he does, and I have that mm-hmm. wonderful scene where I'm completely drunk the entirety of it. Yes, it's not sure. method acting, is it? I, I try not to. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Well, guys, we're going to uh, talk a little bit more uh, about uh, the fabulous Educating Rita and Studio 61 a little bit later. Uh, but first, we are going to go over to uh, to another Willie Russell classic, which, of course, is Blood Brothers. And we're going to take you to a letter to get my teeth in. Take a letter, Miss Jones. You're listening to Steve. And Steve. On Black Country Extra. And this is The, the Green, Green Room. Room. 
<laughs> and I'm going to hand you back over now to Steve and our guest from Studio 61. Excellent, thank you very much. And of course, we are joined by Chris, who is the director of Educating Rita. And uh, we're also have got uh, Ian with us, who is playing Frank or Professor Frank. I think he's a professor. Yeah. He is. A, I'm pretty sure he's a professor, isn't he? From uh, from my research, a professor with a, a slight drinking problem. So, who, who would like to tell us a bit of it without giving any game changes away? A little bit of an overview of the story um, to uh, entice some of our our listeners out there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you read the script, Chris? No. <laughs> oh, no, come on. Uh, Rita is 26 years old. We're, we're setting it yep. in 1981, yes. which is roughly when the when, play was actually when written. When it was written. Oh, OK. Um, Rita's 26 years old. She's mm. married with no children. Uh, she's very much under pressure from her family and her husband to conform to what's, you know, going on with their friends and so on. Yes. But she wants something that's her own she wants her own choice in in where her life goes and she thinks that she can do this by getting an education okay and she chooses the open university to do an english literature course and frank is her tutor right okay and um it, it's it's very much a, a kind of pygmalion stroke my fair lady isn't yes. it? um where she's she's desperate to Im- kind of improve herself i suppose that sounds a bit um, that doesn't sound so good but uh you know she's using the open university as a mechanism to you know broaden her life mm-hmm. if you like and she meets frank um frank let's face it is more keen on her than she is on him. yes yes indeed there's, um, a, there's a little bit of chemistry going on but only one way chemistry in that respect absolutely yes and uh, poor old frank he's a rather disillusioned academic he's much older um he is a bit of a drunk i'm afraid yes and a divorcee if i remember right um or... well, he's split with his wife he, he's with somebody else yes. but it's not happy no no it's not happy at all they, they they fall out and you hear more about that um as the play goes on yes and um uh, and as it goes on of course um rita becomes more and more competent as mm-hmm. a student you know she at the beginning she's terrified of the other students at the at the end uh, the the one she calls the proper students she's just telling them that they're wrong and she knows more about this than they do so she becomes increasingly confident as frank actually becomes increasingly less confident in his life um so and that's the pattern of it uh and and you know as i said it's it's pygmalion or my fair lady if it was set in liverpool in 1980 excellent stuff so there's there's certainly something to uh, to get your teeth into both from an actor's point of view and from a an audience perspective to sit and watch um i remember seeing it in the uh, probably in the early 90s with uh, one of my good friends uh, shout out joe foley uh, if you're listening uh, playing the part of rita uh, and it is uh, just a, a fantastic um play that uh, you know it's it, it's just one of those that you you get well and truly sucked into as as an audience member absolutely um, and when it's a two-hander uh, th- you've got to do that haven't you really the, yeah. the, the, there is no escapism um from, from from an actor's point of view you have got to give it your all uh, for every second that you're on that stage mm. Yes, I I think the other thing to say is it is brilliantly funny. Yes. I think I I made it sound a bit serious before. It is a very funny play. It has to be, doesn't it? I mean, you look at the writer. I mean, you know, although he covers a lot of serious uh, subjects in his writing, uh, the theme is always very, um, very, um, yeah, what what am I thinking of? There's there's, There's always things to laugh at. Yeah, uh, and human nature is uh, is such an amazing thing to, uh, to 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 experience during his plays. But uh, that's super. But anyway, we're we're going to go a, a little bit more into uh, into the land of musical theatre for the moment as well. And uh, a little shout out to our friends at Cradley Heath Amateur Operatic Society. Now, Mr. T, what oh, what yes. are they what are they doing soon? Well, if you're an Elvis fan, a rock and roll fan, or you know they like the fifties that sort of thing, they're going to be doing the production of All Shook Up. 
And if you don't guessed, then that is mainly Elvis Presley songs. Now, that is at the Stourbridge Town Hall, and it'll be going on from the 8th to the 12th of November. So we will be giving you some more details on that and probably have a few guests from the Society in as well a little bit nearer the time. I'm pretty sure we will, oh, won't we? Definitely, yes. But from that show, we'll give you a bit of a taster to whet your appetite. And this is Can't Help Falling In Love. You are listening to The Green Room with me, Steve. And with me, Steve. More details to come. Okay, Absolutely. Our guests are still here then. They, they are. I mean, you know, they, bless them. They keep looking <laughs> yeah. at their watches. I think they're keen to go. They're going, you know, we've, we, we, we've got we've got Sunday dinner. We want to we want to go. And we've got things to see on the telly and things like that. Chickens but, uh, in the oven. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? So, uh, wow. Anyway, back in the real world. <laughs> so, guys, it's um, two weeks, did you say, Chris, before opening is, for your yes. fabulous play? Yeah, we've only got midweek dates, I'm afraid. Okay. Because uh, the... the Availability by the venue. Yes. So we're actually performing on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which is the uh, 28th, 29th and 30th of June. Of June. Brilliant. So how can people get tickets to uh, to see this fabulous production? Uh, they can get them either from the New Hampton Arts Centre website. Yes. Which is uh, newhamptonarts.co.uk. Uh-huh. Quite easy to remember. It is, Absolutely. Uh, there's a telephone number as well, which I'm sure you can get from their website anyway, uh, and uh, you can email them and ask for tickets. Uh, anybody who wants to uh, like the Studio 61 Facebook page yes. can see links to to the tickets from there as well. Excellent. It's all about the social media. And uh, I tell you what we'll do. Once uh, once we finish the show today, uh, we'll also put a, a link uh, for your production on our socials as well. That's and uh, t- on the, uh, the the Green Room page as well. So uh, that'll be on our Facebook and our Instagram pages as well, guys. So, uh, yes, if you, uh, if you haven't got a pen and paper handy, which you know the rules on a Sunday, you should always have your <laughs> pen and paper ready, uh, you can go back out and, uh, and check uh, on our socials a little bit later. Now, Ian, I'm going to jump on you for a moment, okay? What's the uh, what's the not the biggest, literally? Not literally. I, I, <laughs> I can't reach that far over the desk. So, uh, what's the uh, what's the biggest thrill you're looking forward to for uh, for, for your production? Oh golly! Um, dare I say, saying the last line, having, <laughs> <laughs> having had to work all these months on learning them. No, it, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. It's a terrific play. Yes, um, we've got a terrific reader girl called Nikki who um, just nailed the Liverpudlian accent almost from the first rehearsal fabulous she's been an absolute pleasure to act with and uh, I'm looking forward to that and uh and yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. I'm hoping we get a big audience and everybody enjoys it. Wonderful. And is, is Nikki a, a local actor? Yes, she's from Wolverhampton. Excellent stuff. As well, yeah. And so. has, has she done things with you guys before? She's actually not done very much with it. We, we, we did one production, which was a, a script in hand production with some music. Yes. And she sang for us on that. Uh, but that was, this is her her, her debut as, as an actor for the company. For the company, brilliant. And uh, it's my debut as director ah, as well. So, okay. Uh, it, we, but we've got a terrific team, both acting and non-acting. Yes. And they are very, very supportive and it's been... It's been really good fun. Brilliant. Especially the drinks after rehearsals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you guys actually rehearse at a pub, if I remember we rightly. We do, yes. So yeah, like just, just, idea, just, just remind me where you guys are based. It's the, uh, the, the rehearsals all take part at the Bradmore Arms pub in yes. Wolverhampton we, we, there's a flight of stairs inside the bar and you go up there upstairs to the function room and we've got it's, it's practically the whole floor of the pub brilliant in, in area um uh, and then, of course, we just toddle downstairs <laughs> for a, for a, a post a post rehearsal drink. Remember those days, Steve? Yes, and that really helps when your leading man's a drunk as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Absolutely getting brilliant. in practice. That's all I'm doing. This. So, <laughs> just just uh, again, if you could just remind us again where people can get hold of tickets from, please. New Hampton Art Centre in Wolverhampton. It's situated close to the Molyneux. Um, and um, that's where we will actually be performing. At, at the Molyneux? No. no, no. <laughs> really? Uh, at, at the New Hampton Art Centre. At the New Hampton Art, Art Centre. That's brilliant stuff. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming in. Yes, thank um, you. Just a, a final shout. If people want to get involved themselves in any future productions with uh, with Studio 61, what should they do? 
They can come, have a look on our Facebook page. Yes. They can come along to the Bradmore Arms on a Monday night or a Wednesday night. That's when we usually rehearse, although not always. Um, and or, or just kind of um, just look out for us on sure. on, uh, on Facebook well, and, the best and thing, Instagram. The best thing maybe to do is to come and see Educating Rita. Absolutely. Yeah, look at what fabulous talent there is and go, actually, yeah, I fancy, I fancy a piece of that as well. So uh, brilliant. Yeah. So, guys, thank you so much for coming in. Yes, it's thank lovely you to so see you. Too. All the very best for Educating Rita. So, Ian, I'm sure you're going to smash it. Chris, <laughs> I'm sure your uh, your debut as, uh, as director will be a, a phenomenal success as well. Thank so, you uh, very much. until next guy time, guys, we're going to take you over to Footloose oh, yes. and uh, we have got the title track haven't we Mr T we certainly have this is the 1980s original Kenny Loggins version wow so you have to listen to the green room here on Sunday Tea Time with me Steve and with me Steve <laughs>